makes airplanes, or basketballs, or people fly. It's air. <laughs> as well as a bunch of other things that we learn when we try to make a giant paper airplane. So that didn't work. All on this episode of Science Max, Experiments at Large. So the giant paper airplane hasn't been working so well. The problem is paper can't hold up its own weight when it's that large. Cardboard is much stronger than paper, so we've decided to rebuild the plane out of cardboard. All right, Phil, let's hoist it up. Then we take it to the roof of the Science Center and see if we can get it to fly. Oh. All right, Phil, we're in position. The attempt didn't go so well. Looks like we have a bit too much pitch. Our second attempt still had a bit too much pitch. Time to add some weight to the nose. We added some clips to the front to give it a little bit more weight on the nose, which is important. Although at this point, I kind of wish there was less weight. You're thinking, why didn't it sail through the air like a normal paper airplane does? Well, that's because the other thing heavy planes need to fly is thrust. So we could put an engine on our plane, but then we'd have to use something stronger than cardboard, and well, pretty soon we'd have an actual plane. 